Hello and welcome to MJ on the Case. Today I have done a spirit box session for Erica Lloyd. Erica Lloyd was a 37 year old businesswoman from Walnut Creek, California. She was a single mom to a 12 year old boy and her body, she was missing, but her body had been found in a desert field in Wander Valley, California. And they found her abandoned car, a 2006 black Honda Accord near the park on California's State Route 62 in 29 Palms. Several of her car windows had been broken out and there was damage to her vehicle's dashboard. And I wanted to reach out to her. I had just found out about this case today, watching another creator cover this case. And for some reason, I was just compelled to reach out to her to see what I could pick up, pick up and maybe help her family get a little bit of closure of what might have happened to her. Was it a wreck? Did she have a mental breakdown? Was it murder? Um, so with that being said, um, I wanted to reach out to her and see what we could find out. And even though I didn't know anything about this case, I picked up a lot of good information from Erica. So with that being said, let's go over the spirit box session and then I'll go over what I heard and in what order I heard it in. All right, guys, let's get into it. Next. Spirits and spirit guides, I would like to get information on Erica Lloyd, 37-year-old mom of one from California. She was found dead in a desert field in Wonder Valley. They found her abandoned 2006 Black Honda Accord. Near the park on California State Route 62 in 29 Palms. Windows were broken. And there was damage to her vehicle's dashboard. Did Erica wreck her car? Yes. Or did she have a mental breakdown? Yeah. Or was she murdered? What happened to Erica Lloyd? Yeah. Was this just an accident? I'd like to get answers for Erica Lloyd's family. Beautiful mom, business owner. Any information, spirits, and spirit guides? For Erica Lloyd from Walnut Creek, California. Erica, can you come through, please? What happened to you, Erica? What? Young. Do you remember? Okay. Any last information? Spirits and spirit guides in Erica. Oh. 
Thank you. Sending you positivity, love, and blessings, Erica. Thank you, Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Erica. I will review this now. All right, guys, that was my spirit box session for Erica Lloyd. And I was surprised to get as many responses as I did from this, from Erica and Spirit and Spirit Guides, because like I said at the beginning, I just have found out about this case today. I really didn't know any much, much about it. I've never followed it. I've never tried to reach out to Erica. This was the very first time that I ever have reached out to her, and I just posted the first one that I've done for her. So it was pretty amazing what all came up. And I had something really pretty amazing. This never happened to me before. Um, I believe my father was stepping forward, helping give this information. Okay, with that being said, though, let's get into what I heard and in what order I heard it in. Here, Erica, dead. She was found. Yep, we saw it. Pressure in her liver. We know he made her fall, hurt, died. Yeah, he's not normal. Really? He killed her. Bye. Did not know. He's a fool. Sorry. Didn't see them. He brought booze with him. Help. Yes. He wouldn't stop. I threw it in his face. What? Died. Dead. She took the wrong person. Boom. And we're dead. We're spirits. Help. Here. Whole lot of information. Crazy. Vanilla dead. That's enough, y'all. Died. Little bit. He's one amazing young boy. Yeah. Fell. Died. Hi. Pushed. Bastard. I died. Information. Please. No. Father. He stepped forward. Who is he? Sammy. Falling. Fully. I thought this one. He was different. He hit me in the head right busy okay guys so that was my spirit box session for erica lloyd and from what i understand of what i heard of the story or read up on the story is that she was tired of being pent up in the house because of the pandemic so she decided to go to a on a trip and she had invited some friends to meet her out there. Now, I'm unsure if the friends actually did meet her out there or what happened. But apparently, somebody did go with Erica. And whoever this gentleman was, she's saying she took the wrong person with her. They got in a fight. He hit her in the head. And he pushed her and made her fall to her death, which is pretty crazy, all the information that did come through. And what was even crazy for me is I believe my own father came through and helped give some of this information. As it said, father, he stepped forward and then it's asked, who is he? And it says Sammy, which is my father's name, which is pretty amazing for me. Um, so, yeah, that was a pretty good spirit box session for Erica Lloyd. And I might follow up on the case, do another one, and see if I can get any more information. Maybe a name of who this gentleman was that did this to her. Um, she did say he wasn't normal. She thought he was different. So maybe it was someone she was seeing, had a relationship with, or was talking to online. I'm not sure, because I haven't tried to look in on her case or do any psychic readings on her, but... That was a whole lot of good information. So if you've liked this spirit box session and you want to see me do more spirit box sessions or psychic greetings, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And as always, many blessings and peace out.